got my book card in the mail. Just kidding. It is actually not heavy at all. It's super light and it's super tiny, which kind of has me concerned. I thought it was supposed to be, you know, yay height, yay wide. Like how do all the pieces of my book card fit in this single package? I'm scared. Also, I'd like to say a big thank you to Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. If you couldn't tell from the title and the intro, I am building a book cart. Now, a book cart is basically what it sounds like, just a cart with a bunch of books on it. And specifically, what I wanna use my cart for is as my TBR cart. Oh my God, what did the sun do? Okay, much better. And if you're not familiar with what a TBR is, that stands for to be read. It's basically all the books that you haven't read yet. And I recently, like a month ago, did a video of every single book I own but haven't read. And I can't remember the exact number, but it was like over 50 books. And it's basically because I have no self-control and I just continuously go book shopping. But I'm hoping that having a dedicated space where I can visually see all the books I own but haven't read will force me to stop going book shopping and actually complete my TBR. Also, I should stop pointing my knife like this. I think I'm gonna put my TBR cart right next to my desk, which I think will be really cute. And I'm so excited to show you guys. <laughs> okay, the color is way better than I thought. It's this beautiful mint green. Anyway, let's get building. Oh, it has wheels too. I don't know why, I don't think I realize it has wheels. I feel like that's gonna be so cute. I can wheel it around. I don't know what purpose I would have to wheel it around, but I feel like it'll make me feel like a librarian. I could wheel it to my boyfriend and be like, a book for you. And then he would be like, I don't read romance, get those away from me. And I'd be like, okay, book back on my cards, not for you. What am I even doing? <sighs> Oh, also, before we get too far into building, I think I'm gonna post an Instagram story so I can do a little before and after. And I'm also gonna make a post on my YouTube community tab. And I am a horrible speller and just overall not very confident in my writing. I always use Grammarly to check my writing and Grammarly has kindly sponsored today's video. Also, something I've never shared with you guys is that I've started writing fiction short stories. I would love to write a book one day and I'm currently using Grammarly to help me improve and proof my stories. I have been using Grammarly for the last few years to help with my schoolwork in college when writing essays, projects, presentations, and now that I'm no longer in school, I have been using Grammarly so much to help with my work needs. Like working on projects and work emails. One thing that is my kryptonite in writing is really wordy sentences. I don't know why, but I say things in as many words as possible. So Grammarly's full sentence rewrite feature has been a game changer in helping take my hard to read sentences and making them more efficient and to the point, which I know people who read my emails really appreciate. And the desktop app is definitely a must have. It integrates with Microsoft Word, email, and Google Docs so seamlessly. They have a free version of the app that has grammar, spelling, and punctuation suggestions, but if you upgrade to the premium version, you get access to their advanced features like enhancing your word choice and helping you with tone. So work smarter, not harder, and get your work done faster with Grammarly. Sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium using my link linked in the description. Okay, I found the instructions. Of course, there's no words, only pictures. I've said this before in my building my first bookshelf video, and I'll say it again. I am a book girl. I need words. I haven't read picture books since I was a child. Why am I so confused? Like I'm actually not like trying to be funny. Like I am confused. What the heckles? Oh, okay. This whole video is just gonna be like clanging noises and me yelling, oh, okay, and what, and I'm confused. So I'll see you in a little bit when I'm less confused. Okay, I'm less confused. Now I'm moving on to step two. Also, this is the size of our book cart. I keep staring at the instructions and then just zoning out. Like I'm trying to figure out like what letter this thing is referring to and then I get bored. This is why I don't read nonfiction. I wish all of you guys could come over to my apartment and help me right now. Like, where are my book besties? Because I need y'all. Okay, look at this. Okay, so see the bottom shelf is flush on this side, but on this side, like this, it's so far away. Something's not adding up. I feel like I did something wrong in step one, but step one seems so simple. Like I'm actually so confused. Okay, good news, I figured it out. Turns out all three shelves are different sizes. This one is the biggest one, so it should fit perfectly. Okay, incredible. Oh. 
All right, now for the last step, the wheels. Okay, I finished the car and I think it's so fun that it rolls. Now I'm gonna go pull all the books off my bookshelves that I have not read yet. And look how cute the cart looks next to my desk. Ah, cute, I love it. Okay, I pulled 35 books that I haven't read. This isn't all the books I haven't read yet, but yeah, this is most of them. Oh my gosh, you know what I just realized? How did I not think of this before now? I have to choose a way to organize the books on the shelf. I don't know why that did not occur to me. I have my bookshelf in the living room organized by color and I love it. I think it's so cute. I just reorganized it very recently, but I feel like I want this cart to be a little more practical because I want it to actually help me like get through my TBR, so. Hmm, okay, I could do it by author. I could do it by genre. I could also do it alphabetically by title. I feel like I wanna have one shelf that is my TBR for this month. Okay, yes, I feel like that makes sense because then I can see like, okay, these are all the books I'm reading next. And then there's certain books I wanna specifically read for specific videos, like reading all sad books for a week. So maybe I'll do a shelf for books for upcoming videos and then we'll have a miscellaneous shelf. Also, I forgot I have all these, oh, library books that I'm dropping. So this would be important to include on my this month's TBR. Okay, yay, let's make a this month TBR. So first I've got Castle in the Clouds, which is a wintry Christmas feel book, I think. And I'm gonna do a winter Christmas book video. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom shelf. Oh my gosh, these shelves are way thicker than my books. Should I put something else in here like plants or like, it can't fit two books across. No, that would not work. I low-key feel kind of stupid because I actually just did not mm, take the measurements of this cart at all before buying it. I just impulse bought it. And I feel like most people's book carts are just the exact same like length as their books. So the books just fit in there like super snugly. Okay, I'm looking on Pinterest and it looks like most people's book carts fit like the exact length of their book, but some of them, they have like plants on the edge and stuff, which I actually kind of like. Okay, maybe this will be a good thing. We'll, we'll put the books in and then decorate it afterwards. Ninth House by Lee Bardugo. I want to read this book this month. I feel like it's a perfect fall book and I've been really wanting to read it. Reflected in You, this is the second book in the Crossfire series and I really like the first book. It's really spicy if you like a spicy romance. So I also would like to read this book this month since it's a library book. I got Let It Snow by John Green, another winter Christmas book that I'm gonna use for my future winter Christmas video. Hang on, I feel like we're too far away. Zooming in. Okay, I feel like that's a little better. Then I've got Siege and Storm, which is the sequel to Shadow and Bone. And I love Shadow and Bone, so I'm gonna put this right at the front of my this month's TBR. And then lastly for my library books, I've got Happily Ever After, which is a book that contains a bunch of novellas from the selection series. So I also wanna read this book this month. The Homeworkers, this book sounds so cute. The plot has a lot going on. This girl is like renovating a house for like a reality TV show. There's like a potential disappearance of a wife and mother, and there's also romance. I do really wanna read this book. I don't know if I'm gonna get to it this month though. So I'm gonna put it on shelf two. Same with Beach Lane and Before She Knew Him. Both I wanna read eventually, but not yet. Then I've got Me Before You and the sequel After You. I know there's a Me Before You movie and I really want to make a video where I like read books and then watch their like movie or TV show adaptation. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom shelf because I'd like to use these for a future video. Little Fires Everywhere, also a book to TV show adaptation. So we got our bottom shelf. Cliff's Edge by Meg Tilly. I love books where one character in the romance is a celebrity. I just think it's so fun. And I'm pretty sure this book has that. Shelf number two. Out of Darkness, I also wanna make a video where I read sad books for a week, and I think this book is gonna be really sad, so I'm gonna put it on my bottom shelf for a future video. The Final Gambit, okay. This book is going high on my this month's TBR. I'm trying to put them in order, so when I like come to this cart, I can just go in order of the books and read them in that order. This is the last book in the Inheritance Game series, and I have owned this book for like a month, and I can't believe I haven't read it yet. This is like the month of like finishing series because there's four books on this top shelf that are part of a series. Terms and Conditions, again, the month of finishing series. This is the second book in the Dreamland Billionaire series. She's thick. Like, can I realistically read this book this month? I don't know. I'm gonna put it at the end of my this month's TBR. Pride and Premeditation, I read Pride and Prejudice, kind of. I quit reading it like 100 pages in, I didn't get very far because I just didn't like it. But I actually really wanna read the like spin-off remix, I don't know what you would call it, Pride and Premeditation, cause it's like Pride and Prejudice meets like murder mystery. So I'm gonna put this on shelf two. After another book to movie adaptation, so it's going on the bottom shelf for book to movie adaptation video. Eleanor Liffin is completely fine, another romance that is a movie. Bottom shelf, 
Boy Meets Boy. This is such a cute, tiny little book. It's less than 200 pages. It's not like super high on my TBR, so I'm gonna go shelf two. Lost in the Beehive, this book sounds so sad. It's about a girl in the 1960s who is attracted to the same sex and she is sent to an institution to be cured. And I just feel like it's gonna make me cry, so I might save it for my sad books video. Spinning silver, I need to make just like an entire video dedicated to reading fantasy books because oh my gosh i actually have so many fantasy books in this pile i feel like okay i only have three the three fantasy books i have is spinning silver a court of thorns and roses and legends and lattes and i want to read all these so bad but i feel like i'm kind of prioritizing finishing series and then finishing up fall vibes books like murder mysteries and stuff so these are going to go on shelf two for now but hopefully very soon i can read all of those oh and four dead queens a fourth fantasy okay what next truly devious this seems like the perfect fall read this is going on my tbr this book is dark academia it has a mystery it's ya in my dreams i hold a knife another murder mystery it says six friends one college reunion one unsolved murder putting it on this month's tbr then two more books for future videos is the midnight library and one last gift which will both be good winter rex for my winter christmas video this is hard to decide how many books do i have one two three four five six seven eight on my TBR, I feel like that's enough for this month, but I just wanna finish out the shelf. So I'll put the next few books I'm most excited to read. I think I'm gonna go with The Naturals, which is a YA book about gifted teens who help the FBI solve infamous cold cases. Good fall read. And The Cheerleaders, a YA mystery. So another good fall read. Okay, I think I can fit one more. I'm gonna mix it up with a romance and do Funny You Should Ask, which is another book that has one character that's a celebrity he's a movie star and then the girl is hired to write a profile on the movie star oh two more books wow there are so many books that have movie and tv show adaptations i'm gonna have to make like three parts of this video idea but big little lies and confess both have tv show adaptations so they're going on the bottom shelf for a future video and then i think i'm gonna add the rest of the books to shelf number two for later we've got load at first sight i'm assuming an enemies to lovers romance such a fun age. Honestly, is this book sad? Let me read the description. Okay, I'm not sure if this book is like a tear jigger, but it definitely sounds like it could be heavy. So I'm gonna put it in my sad books for future sad book video. But if anyone has read this book, let me know if it's like a pretty sad book or not. And continuing shelf number two, we've got A Gentleman's Murder. If He Had Been With Me, Someone Had To Do It, The Book Thief and dream on i don't think can fit on shelf number two so she's upgraded to shelf number one by pure chance okay wow the book cart is full i don't know if i should just push the books to the front and pretend like there's no extra space or if i should add some plants to the bookshelf what do we think okay here's option one full full looking book cart or let me go get some plants and see what i can do Okay, I really like this plant here. I'm not really sure about this plant situation. I feel like it's sitting too tall. Okay, wait, I'm actually so torn. Okay, please let me know. Do you like with the flower here, so I'd have less books because of the flower, or with this just having solid books, no flower? Please, please let me know because I'm really, really torn. Okay, I just made a few final tweaks and here is my finished TBR cards. I'm